energy coursing through the vastness. Energy from these fuels has dropped. 
radically advanced civilization. transformed into oil and gas. These fossil fuels then begin to creep into surrounding layers of more permeable rock. The endless wrenching of the Earth's crust causes these strata to be folded and broken, sometimes trapping oil and gas in the porous rock. On the surface, vast new forms of plant life take root. 
sunlight floods the lush primeval forests. Every plant and tree captures a bit of this energy. In the ageless cycle of life, these living things too wither and fall. In marshy areas, the decaying limbs and leaves form a spongy mass of peat. For near endless millennia, the process continues until marshes and swamps finally disappear, sinking deeper under cover of mud and sand. Once again, heat, pressure, and time work a remarkable transformation. The peat turns into coal. The formation of fossil fuel occurred over a span of millions upon millions of years. Much of the Earth's present supply was deposited during the primeval era when great reptiles roamed the land. Come with us now and experience a few moments of that dark and mysterious past.
20th century. As you have seen, the Mesozoic era was a time of violent geologic activity. For a hundred million years, the Earth was torn by natural forces. Vast amounts of organic material were trapped deep inside the Earth. And over millions of years, it was transformed into the fossil fuels we use today. These monitors behind the operating console show current and future energy resources around the world. Among them are fossil fuels, nuclear, hydroelectric, geothermal, wind, and solar. Your traveling theater vehicles are partially powered by the sun. The solar cells on this building's roof help recharge batteries in the vehicles when they're stopped. Computers guide the vehicles along a wire that is just an eighth of an inch thick. The maps highlight locations that we'll visit during the next part of our journey. We'll travel from the Alaska frontier to the North Sea to the Mideast. We'll explore potential energy sources for the near and distant future. Now that you've experienced the dramatic forces that created today's fossil fuels, let's continue our journey through the universe of energy. some parched regions of the globe, like the Middle East. Stretching across the hot desert sands, massive pipelines carry petroleum to the edge of the sea. It is a supply that is not inexhaustible, however. Not as the global demand for energy, all kinds of energy, continues to increase. simply park its cars or turn off its lights until that day. We must continue to conserve and extend today's energy sources and develop a broad mix of alternatives for the future. Already current supplies are being stretched through the use of heat sensing monitors and other new systems which help increase energy conservation. At the same time, Special oil recovery techniques are helping to bring older fields back to life. Even so, the world is continuing to diminish today's known reserves. The energy surge must go on to help us bridge to the future. Out in space, eye in the sky satellites scan the face of the Earth, helping to find new oil and gas deposits. crews record echoes to pinpoint new locations. The best hopes for finding major new supplies often lie in some of the world's most remote environments, sometimes miles below the ocean floor. On land, these great drilling platforms would dwarf all of the world's tallest buildings. In the ocean, they function as complex and massive island communities, surviving often treacherous waters like the chilling, windswept North Sea. The deep water search has 
now pushing still deeper. Here, a new breed of remote-controlled ocean forward units that bring up oil and gas at once in inaccessible regions. The job of transporting fossil fuels has its own challenges. Near the top of the world, at Prudhoe Bay, Alaska, is the largest oil field in North America. The Trans-Alaska Pipeline begins here. A $9 billion energy highway stretching 800 miles over and under the rugged frontier. frontiers are explored, new technologies are being developed that one day may economically provide energy in the form of synthetic gas and liquids. Synthetic oil is already being produced from these vast Canadian tar sands. Oil shale the rock that burns. Located in the western United States, it is one of the greatest sin fuel resources of all. Mined, crushed, and heated, it could yield billions of barrels of liquid energy. Smaller quantities of sin fuel may be derived from a pesky river clogging weed, the water hyacinth, along with grains, recycled wastes, and other biomass resources. Coal, perhaps the most abundant of fossil fuels. It is mined primarily to generate electricity, a growing demand for the years ahead. And one day, it too may yield large amounts of synthetic oil and gas. energy equivalent to more than twice the Middle East oil supply. Sometimes coal is hidden deep in the earth. Other times it lies near the surface. Here the overlying soil and rock must first be removed to reveal the coal deposits below. Then it is replaced and replanted, a massive reclamation project to help bring the land back to life. Another environment also important. While some is clean burning, some requires precipitators, wet scrubbers, and other new technologies, costly but necessary systems designed to reduce the emissions to harmless water vapor. Other sources, even small ones, may also help meet tomorrow's growing demand for electricity. From the Earth's great underground cauldron, the power of geothermal steam, to drive the windmills of tomorrow.
Chicago, for example, gets more than half its electric power from nuclear plants. And around the world, France, Germany, Japan, and many other nations are continuing to develop nuclear power as part of their energy bridge to the future. Some countries are also moving ahead with a new process, the breeder reactor, which actually creates more fuel as it operates. Within two decades, nuclear energy will probably contribute about a fourth of the world's electricity. Unlimited electric power for tomorrow. Is it a fantasy? A pipe dream? Scientists at Princeton and other research centers don't think so as they inch toward the process of the stars, nuclear fusion. The challenge, to fuse hydrogen isotopes at temperatures exceeding 180 million degrees. The potential exists for a real breakthrough to one day harness this inexhaustible new energy source. itself comes another potential for the future, solar energy. Solar heating and cooling are already in limited use. By the next century, research will hopefully lower the cost of converting sunlight directly into electricity. Epcot's Energy Pavilion provides a showcase for today's solar technology. More than 80,000 photovoltaic cells have been installed on the roof. When exposed to sunlight, they generate electric current to help power your traveling theater cars. So, in a sense, you've been riding on sunshine throughout our show. In our ever-changing world, the road to tomorrow's energy is indeed long, complex and challenging. It demands the development and wise use of today's energy resources. It calls for practical and affordable new sources for tomorrow. And it will require the combined efforts of science, industry, the government, and the public. Then we will indeed bridge to the future, to a world which one day may harness the entire universe of energy.
Well, we made it all the way to the end. Thanks for sticking around. Please like and subscribe, and I upload videos on Mondays and Thursdays.